into action. Thanks, Jack. Hi, Crafty Kids! How are you today? It's beautiful and sunny. I've been out for my swim. I've been out for my walk. Uh, I'm going to show you something lovely that you can do today or whenever you fancy. We're going to make a fairy garden. Um, this is a very simple activity. And these are a few of the things you're going to need. You're going to need a jar, glass jar. Um, maybe some stones, a bit of compost, um, maybe a couple of little pebbles. I've made a little sign that I'll show you. Uh, some flowers, maybe just a little bit of greenery from outside your garden, wherever you walk. You can pick these little bits and pieces up. You're going to need a cork from a wine bottle. I'm sure there's a few of those flying about at the moment. Um, and some cardboard and some felt tip pens. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what this fabric's for and this lid and ribbon as well, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna need for the fairy garden is some compost that you're gonna sprinkle in your jar like this and get your handies all dirty. Oh, lovely. Now, here we go like that. There we are. And then you're going to pop maybe a few stones if you have these in the garden. Like this. Now a lot of you are doing lots of fairy things at the moment and there's beautiful fairy doors around the town and wonderful Kinsale rocks that people have been painting and relocating around the town and putting up on the notice board which is beautiful. So you could make this little fairy garden for your very own fairy. I'm making this for my cheeky fairy. Not that she deserves it, because you all know who my cheeky fairy is, and I tell you stories about her, and she's always up to mischief. Always. Anyway, I'm going to make it for her and see if she starts throwing sugar on my kitchen floor, because she's forever doing that. Anyway, this is the basic part you're going to need for your garden. Then you're going to maybe put in a little sign. My sign says, shh, fairy sleeping. And I've just stuck that on a lolly stick. And I'm just going to break that off the bottom and pop that in like that. Then I've made my little toadstool where I've painted the cork white. And then I've got cardboard and drawn a toadstool shape. I'm going to stick on like that and pop in to my fairy garden. Then I'm going to pop in some grass and some lavender and make it really pretty for my cheeky fairy. Not that she deserves it, but she's going to get it anyway. And some oh, I've lovely rosemary. Yum, I love that. Oh, so there, and maybe a little flower. Now you could draw a flower and shove it in. Now, so you could take more time than that, but I'm rushing just to show you. So then you could put your lid on, keep your fairy inside, and then put some fabric or maybe a piece of tissue or paper. And I've cut it in a kind of bigger round circle than the lid. And then, oh, there it is. I've got an elastic band, and I'm gonna, I can never quite do this right. This is so fiddly, so you might need your handy handy to help you. How am I doing, Jack? I'm doing great. Am I doing great? Well done. Thank you, darling. <laughs> now, and then I've got some nice ribbon. Ooh, fancy. And I'm gonna Dun and then like that, and dun and then like that, and dun and then like that. And there is your fairy garden. And I've written fairy garden on a little pebble outside. So then you can pop that outside, or you can put it in your bedroom, put it anywhere you like. Leave it for your fairy. And you could even carry on your, maybe a little path out here up to your fairy, fairy garden. So that's the first thing. This fairy garden, I'm going to put that out for my cheeky fairy. Hope that 
she starts to behave a bit better. I'm not sure she will though. And um, this is the second thing. We've made these before Crafty Kids, haven't we? But some of you might not have. So this is really simple. It's a little night light. And you get another jar. And I've used Sharpie pens, but you can use paint and you can paint your jar. And then you get a piece of paper and you cut it accordingly. So you go from the bottom of the jar to about there and you cut out a largish piece of rectangular paper. Maybe get a handy handy to help you at home. Okay. And then you curl up the paper. Oh yeah, and then you decorate the paper. And you know I like stars. Look, I love my necklace. Laura likes stars, does not she? I love stars. I love them. And then pop that in there. Uh, and we don't put a real candle in because that would be a big mistake. So we put our little battery lit candle that you can't, I've switched it on, but you can't see because it's so glorious outside. And we pop that in. And we put that by our bedside and we make a wish. And they are two lovely things you can be getting on with. I hope you're all well. I miss you so much. And uh, what do we say? <laughs>